What's up, guys? So, yeah, it's been a while. Um, yeah, thanks, everybody, for all the cardboards and everything. I am now officially back. This is my uh, my first video back. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be back on Revival. We're going to try to figure out what we want to do moving forward and all that. Um, events, I'm going to be doing a live stream tomorrow. I'm uploading this on Saturday the 15th at around, at around like, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., um... And then tomorrow I'm going to be streaming Sunday the 16th. I'm going to be streaming at 10 a.m. We're going to be doing a Vasa Mass, and we'll probably just hang out for a little while, do something else, maybe a couple of giveaways, hide and seek. I don't know. We'll just see what happens. We'll just, we'll just chill. Um, same as we usually do. Um, and that'll be tomorrow at 10 a.m., so like three hours from the time this is being uploaded yesterday. <laughs> or tomorrow, I mean. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we'll get started on the topic of the video. So there's there's really main two, two ideas that we really want to talk about. Um... So Revival is a three-year-old server. Uh, our third year anniversary was in June. Uh, unfortunately, that was also around the same time my father passed away, so we didn't really get to enjoy it, and I've been gone. I'm sure you know that, but... Um, yeah, it's been three years, and I think we've accomplished a lot of things. Like, I, I mean, it's the fact that we're even here at this point. Um, I told people the server wasn't going to go down, and it never went down. Um, I think there was one time where it went down, but that was, like, unrelated to, like, the server going down. I think it was just a crash or something. I have no clue what it was, because Dark fixed it before I even, like, I, I just woke up to messages and he said he'd fixed it. So, yeah, it didn't even, you know, it never went down, and it's not going to, um, no matter what we decide. We're, you know, I'm, I'm committed to revival, I'm committed to keeping it up in one form or another. So, let's talk about the one form or another. So, um, a lo there's a lot of people in the population that just want a ego reset. Um... And I'm kind of at the point now, you know, if you've if you've if you've been a part of this server for a long time, you've known that I've been against that forever because you know a lot of reasons. Uh, but I think this is the first point where I'm I flip sides. I'm on the other side now, and I think maybe we could do an eco reset. I um now now, now don't panic because <laughs> I know I know you guys. Some of you guys love to panic, and I, I know this. The second I said that, there's probably already people typing. Sure. Well, you know, nothing is decided and nothing will ever be decided. And so we, you know, we're certain. So whenever you bring up that discussion, you have like, you have like 30% of the people that, that want it. You've got about another 40% that will quit and they absolutely do not want to re reset. And that's the worst thing that they're going to think of. They'll kill themselves if you reset. And then the rest of the people are just kind of floaters chilling in the middle. Um, and that's kind of usually how it always is. It's one of, it's one of those big, you know, topics that's never going to be, um, you know, 70-30, like I, like I wish it would be. Um, so maybe things have changed. I do have a poll, and we'll talk about all of the questions. Um, is that the first question? No, no, no. no. Yeah, there's a teaser to the second one. <laughs> the second thing I was going to bring up, but... Um, yeah, so we have a poll that'll be in the description below. I'll go over all the, the questions and whatnot. There's going to be a giveaway, too, so make sure you fill it out, and I'll, I'll hook you up with something. But um, So, yeah, that, I mean, this is the first time where I'm kind of, like, trying to figure out, like, the landscape of revival in my head, like, the future. And I think we can totally do it, right? Like, I'm not concerned about that. Um, we can definitely come up with updates, right? We can definitely can create, you know, old school is always adding new stuff, and we're far behind them to begin with, so... By the time we catch up to where they're at right now, they'll have gone even further with new updates. So that's kind of a good thing is we're running out of ideas and stuff like that. It's not it's not really going to be difficult. We'll, we'll always have stuff we can do. I mean, on Revival, we haven't even done quests yet, and that's something I've always talked about wanting to do myself. But um, you know, to me, it's just it feels like this might be the time. You know, we're at a lull. We've been at a lull. Like, I think our last, last June was the last time we had over 100 players. Or even, like, over 60, to be honest. I mean, we did hit, like, 100 players during the um, the second year anniversary event. And then we hit maybe 50, 40 the next couple months later. Um, and that's really... We just haven't been able to get creep past 50. And I think a big part of that is just... I think a lot of people um, who have played Revival don't don't want to come back to it for, you know, for a lot of reasons. I think they, uh, they, they feel like they've completed it. It is an easy game that's kind of by design. I think one of the things we, um, we, hi, <laughs> yeah, I, I just want people to know I'm not like AFK and I'm actually on. Um, one of the things we struggled with was when, when, when making a game easy like Ikov, because Ikov was easy. Um, you could accomplish most things. Very, the, 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 the XP was fast. You had six XPs and all that. And you could, you could accomplish most of your items relatively quick. Um, but the gambling is really what helped that game flow out a lot of the eco you know with our game where everything is so easy um 
we didn't have enough of an outlet to get rid of items. Good to be back. <laughs> Um, so, you know, obviously that's something I knew, and we have we have cash sinks, and we have item sinks. Invention was, you know, once once when I played RuneScape 3 and, and like, learned about Invention, it was, I immediately had the idea for a private server. It was, like, it, it just seemed obvious. And I think we did a, a really good job. Honestly, like, considering it was the first run in a new skill I've, we'd ever attempted, I think it was very well done. Uh, not to toot my own horn. Um, but I, I think it could have been better. And it, I think it failed the main mission of getting rid of items. Um, when it originally came out, it was kind of like a cash sink. If you remember it, that was really sort of the big drama. Like, the schematics were expensive, and you couldn't get your money back for them. And, um, I don't know. It just was more of a cash thing. But I think we missed out on the opportunity to, to really get items out of the game. And um, I think that's something we can still do. Like, I think, I think the economy um, can certainly be helped. By, by doing a lot of changes. And I think invention, we just need, we need to like incentivize people to want to disassemble certain items for certain reasons. And um, we just, we ne we're never able to accomplish that. And since gambling has never been a thing on Revival, not really. Um, you know, there was no real flow or change of gear. So everyone on the game pretty much has everything that they could want. And it's something that, might not be and and I it might, it might not be possible to fix it just because like sure we can make all these changes we can do more changes but we also have to update the game and, and you know keep playing and keep going we have, there has to be content and new content could you know that could always that could always hurt the old content so um you know what I mean is like like the new content will just it's just there's just always going to be items in game uh, and I don't think we're ever going to get to a point where we're getting rid of items rather than adding them. Um, and so then you also have that, that you can also talk about that, like from the other angle is if we do a reset, couldn't that just happen again? What's to stop that? So we'll, we'll talk about, we'll talk about a little bit about like what the plan will be if we did, did do the thing. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's, I, I just think, I think we're at a point where that it might be really difficult to, to move on from it. I think, um. I think we definitely can, and I'm, I'm certainly going to try to. I, I I think we can, you know, we can do this, we can do that, but it'll always be it'll always be that way. Like even if we now lower drop rates or remove donator options, remove this box, remove that box, it's probably too late. So um, I don't know. Like, give us your thoughts on the idea. Give us give me your thoughts on like where you're at. Obviously, there's a poll. We'll talk about all the questions. I'll talk about the second idea as opposed to just a straight-up reset. I brought up the reset first because it's obviously the easier option um, and the quicker option. I should prefer, like I should make a point of that. It's the quicker option. We can really, like, we, I mean, we could, like, if people, let's say, let's just say out of nowhere, everyone wanted to do it. Not a single person was opposed. I know that that's not the case. Let's just say that that was the case. And we're like, oh, okay, 1,000, you know, all of the accounts said yes. Uh, we do it. We could be done that day, you know. It could be real simple. And we could do it. Um, I mean, there could be a different, a, a couple different ways we could do it. We, I mean, I, I say it could be that simple and that fast, but I would want to make changes. Obviously, we, we would want to lower the drop rate. I think that's one. I think the, I like the drop rate. I really do. Um, but we either need to increase it, or just make or make it like harder to get drops, or we need to remove all the like the drop enhancing items. I don't think that they affect that much. They really don't. Um, but. I think we could change though how those work a little bit. We could. I, I want to keep them in game. I, I really like them, but if it's one of those things where like we just can't have them because they would ruin the economy or whatever, then we could come to terms with it. But yeah, the point I'm trying to make is that it could be that's the, that's the easier of the options. So the second option that that I really liked is, and this kind of stems from the uh, the extreme mode that recently came out. It, it wasn't very extreme. Uh, it was just kind of at XP mode, which is what I, that's what I pitched it as, and that's what people seemed to like. But then when it actually came out, no one really liked it. I think people either had, I don't know, maybe I just didn't understand what people liked about it. Because it wasn't, it wasn't like a mode that I liked or wanted or care about. It wasn't a mode I was ever going to play. So it was hard for me to understand what people wanted from it. And people did not give me opinions. They were just like, yeah, do it, go for it, yeah. But it didn't turn out good. It was bad, it was boring, um, very just uninteresting and not difficult. Um, so it was kind of a fail. And so what I was thinking is, what if we do, we take that mode, right? And we just kind of, we, 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 I mean, we could keep, we didn't have to really remove it, but we'd change it to legacy and that would be stuck on here. And what we would do is create a, a second world that was exactly like this one, 
but you were in extreme mode. And we would change the way uh, I can do. Is it that? Real shops. Oh, oh, they never. <laughs> they will never restock. Let them do dirty. Um, yeah, so we create a second world. We call it Revival Extreme, and every single account that's created, it's a, it'd be a fresh game. There would be new accounts, and it would be a lot harder. It would be harder XP rates. It would be harder drop rates. It would be um, a lot more difficult, and it'd be called Revival Extreme. And we would have two servers, two worlds, uh, Revival Legacy, this one, and then Revival Extreme, that one. Um, so that's that idea. Uh, there's Now, there's some, there's some issues with it. Like, for one, that's something we've never done before. Um... And I've talked to Dark about it. We've talked about it a lot, and we've, you know, uh, we we think it's possible. That's why we're, you know, we're pitching it as an idea. But uh, it could be difficult to get it to where we could like talk to the other world. That could be kind of tricky. Um, you've got to deal with that. You've got to deal with like, like I mean, I, I think that you, I think it'd be pretty easy to get them both off of the same client. You would just connect to different IP addresses. I'm thinking, but the be able, being able to communicate to the other world is something we've. I, it's it's tricky, and I've talked to him about it. He he doesn't like immediately know how to do it. Um, there's also issues you could think of like with splitting the player base. We only have a very small amount of players in the first place. You know, this is I'm I'm happy to have any players right now because like I said, I've been gone for two months, and even even me being gone for two months, the server still hadn't you know hadn't had an update in a while and, and was kind of at a low point. So to have you know 11 people, 10 people minus me on is is amazing to begin with, but. Um, that's we're gonna have a smaller player count for a, for a while, probably regardless of what we do. Even if we did a reset, I'm sure a lot of people would would like quit and never play, or we wouldn't attract new people because why would you want to play a server that reset? Um, or you know the second world, you know that could if we could split our player base. We have five on this one and then five on the other world, and if we couldn't communicate, then it's like two separate servers that don't even exist. It could div you know it could divide my time. Now what I would try to do um, is code every single thing the same. So every single server, like both servers would get the same update at the same time and they would be very identical. It's just for the extreme mode. If it had like different drop rates and stuff like that, that would be the difference. Or if it was like a mini game and I wanted it to be easier on this one or harder on that one. I don't know. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of angles to look at it from like, you can think of the pros and cons. Pros could be fun. It should be a lot. I mean, it would be fun for sure. Having a second world where you can just like restart. Everybody's got a fresh economy. It's not a reset, but it almost feels that way. Um, and then you have cons, obviously, it's going to divide a small player base already. You, you wonder, is it, is it just circumventing the reset in the first place? Is that why, is that the interesting thing? Is it the challenge? Is it like the appeal of that? Or is it just the, you know, going to appeal to the people who wanted a fresh economy? I, I don't know. Can the two worlds coexist? Are we, um, you know, trying to, trying to do too much? I don't know. You can give us your thoughts. The survey will be in the description below. So the first question is, how do you feel about a second world? And I kept it really simple for the first two because I just want, like, I just want to see where it's at. I don't want to give, oh, how do you, do you feel strongly? Do you feel, you know, are you neutral? I just wanted yes or no. So the first one is, I want a second world. The second one is, I do not want a second world. Second question is, how would you feel about a character reset? I do not want a reset. I want a reset. I put character reset because a lot of people, when they talk about a reset, they talk about just the economy because they're lazy and they don't want to train stats again. But that, like, we can certainly do that. I, 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 I would be fine with that if that was the accepted, um, like, if you wanted to, you could put, you know, you could put I want a reset and then put in one of the other places, you know, specify that. Because I have a question for that and I'll bring it up in a sec. But, um... We could do that. We could do it that way. There's, I believe, Dark said we can re, we can like redo every donation. So like every donation you've ever done, would you'd be able to claim it back? I believe we can do that. So there's a ton of different ways we could do it. We wouldn't have to entirely just delete all the character files, and everybody goes back at it. We could, and and then obviously names would be reset if we did that. So we could we could go about it and like you keep your, you know, your stats. I, I don't know. I, I think keeping your stats seems pointless to me. I think um, I think part of the fun of it all would be that that uh, journey to first again. And, and I, I don't know. I I just. But if, if other people feel another way about it, you can obviously give me your opinion on that. So that's why I, I put the word character in here because that's how I'm presenting it. But if enough people who I mean, like if, if people wanted a reset, but the the like the thing about like the difference was the character versus the economy. We can easily figure that out. That's not the hard part. The hard part is whether we reset at all or not. So 
I do not want to reset. I probably should have put the not and capitalized there, but whatever. Uh, I want to reset. So then right here is, um, if we do the second world, what are your opinions on it? So this is like, okay, you can give us any of pots. Like, oh, I think it's going to divide the economy. Like, anything I just said, if you feel that same way or strongly, you can put that here. And then same with the reset. Like, if you don't want the character reset, you can specify, I think we should reset, but just the economy, I think we should get our donations back, et cetera, et cetera, however you want to do it, however, however, whatever your opinions are. So those are the first four questions. They're real simple. And again, no reason to panic. Nothing is decided, and nothing will necessarily be decided from this. Um, like I said, a lot of the times it's usually 50-50, and that's probably going to be the case again, but I want to give everybody a chance, and I want to make sure that uh, moving forward, we have a plan and we're gonna like, you know, we're gonna stick with it and execute it, right? I want to try to figure out ways we can get Revival back to where it was, you know, that's what everybody wants. I, I, I think most people who are watching, if you're watching this video, um, unless you're just a troll, I don't, I don't think trolls actually watch the video, do you? If you're, if you're one of those trolls, I mean, you're probably not gonna answer me realistically, but like, why? <laughs> like, I don't remember Skies used to fill out these surveys and put a bunch of like, just obscene answers and stuff like that. It's like, what, who would take the time? Who would take the time to do that? He would, I guess. But I don't know if he actually watches the video. So if you're if you're watching the video, guys, what's up? How you doing? How you doing, man? I don't I don't know where I was anymore. We'll just move on. Okay, so this one, <laughs> which bit of content are you more interested in? Um, this is just kind of like a, a for me thing to figure out where I should put my efforts. Like, should I keep working on the OSRS content we don't have? Like, we have some we have new data, um, and we don't have all of it in in our game yet, so I could work on that. If you think the questing idea, which I do have a couple, I think I have like two or three quests that are like already pre-planned in my head. Um, and they would bring out like, they would bring out, I'm not gonna just do a quest, oh, help the pizza man deliver a pizza. I'm not, I'm never gonna do quests like that. Um, I just don't think people will like, it's those time waster quests, no. So every quest I do is gonna be a grandmaster quest that's going to unlock new high tier equipment. Like that's how I'm going to do quests. Now I might have like trolly or fun quests, but they will be mildly challenging. I say mildly because it's a, you know it's a private server. No one wants to really like try hard, and I, you know I'm not I'm not going to do that. But yeah, mildly challenging, and then they'll have good rewards that make it all worthwhile. Um, and then skilling improvements. I, you know, it's been a long time since we've worked on skills, and not necessarily improvements, but we can just add new stuff like new things. Like there's plenty of of old things on RuneScape that we haven't used that we could repurpose or re-envision or, you know, whatever. So there's tons of things we could do if that's where you think we, we would we want to go. It's really just what you think is more important. Um, this one is, uh, where do you think I should focus my efforts first? Do you think I should focus on YouTube videos, like the content? Um, I am, like, on my other account, JMO, I'm, I, I, I'm nine hours in to a ten-hour video of the minigame that I never uploaded. I, you might have remembered me talking about that. That was one of the last things I was doing before I take a, took a break. And, um, yeah, I'm like nine hours in, so I have more, I'm pretty sure I kept all of the stuff in my inventory and I have pictures and everything, so it should be good to go to make that video. Do you want to see more YouTube videos? Just like entertainment ones, just like, I mean, you know, that. Do you want to see more events, live streams, um, like an actual in-game event? I think we definitely want to do an in-game event. Um, or do you want just focus on actual game updates? And that would probably be what along, you know, these are the game updates. If you want that, then you'd, you know, go with that. Uh, what is the most annoying bug? Just like, yeah, like what is the most annoying bug, glitch, or inconvenience? Is there any quality of life thing that we should do? Um, just kind of refreshing myself on the current issues. What is, uh, attack style is the best? Uh, I just want to get people's opinions on what style they think is the best on revival. Just all purpose. Like, which style do you think you use the most? And you put that. Which skill idea sounds most interesting? Summoning, raiding, archaeology, artisan? Um, if you don't know what artisan is, it, it was a, an idea that old school had that they, they, it ended up passing. But it was basically like Slayer, but for skills. You would get tasks to do, oh, go cut 30 tree, you know, you know, stuff like that. Kind of like that. So think of it like Slayer, but for skills. And then there will be a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a $100 bond. Leave your name here to be entered into that. So, yeah, give me your thoughts. I am officially back. I will be doing a live stream tomorrow at 10 a.m. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you soon.